Hey, 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 what we doing? How we doing? My brothers and my sisters. And another edition of EBX Discussion. And I thank those. And we always got to remember, if we are alive and breathing, we are back to conquer another day. And I thank my soldiers and soldierettes that have been always say joining a brother on this journey as well as a lot of uh well as other brothers and sisters that's reaching and teaching out here salute so always gonna be thankful as a short video i made uh about a day ago prior yesterday I, I meant what i said and you know i'm becoming more and more thankful every day that one wake up one wakes up and that's how we should be and so I thank you, you know, for taking the time out of your day to come in and listen to a brother. Because there's many great brothers and sisters out, out here, you know, within our families and outside our families. That's why I always give honor to our ancestors. That spirit is still alive here in the present today. And it's in a lot of us soldiers and soldierettes out here. So always remember, there are those bodies that lay to rest. You know, those that held dear to us that... You know, body laid to rest, but the spirit still alive. So with that being said, those that we held dear in our families that may have transitioned, may they rest in peace and in power. And may all of our families prosper. And everything we touch turn to gold. And brothers and sisters, of course, we all know it's some, it's some, it's some, how can I say it? Weird times, crazy times, uh, awareness time, definitely an awareness time. We are in a time where, where we definitely better have our mind right. You know, we better be learning something. We better have some type of purpose. Because in these times, if you're blind and you don't know where you're going or what you want, life is going to be difficult for you and somewhat hard if you don't get oneself together and Whatever way we can do that in a righteous way to keep our mind right, you know, keep our body healthy and try our best to stay focused and, you know, help one another as much as we can. You know, honor thy mother, honor thy father, honor thy sister, honor thy brother. And I say honor because I don't think we hear that a lot. You know, we don't hear honor all the time. So that's why you'll hear we, we need to bring that honor back, you know. And, you know, I don't never want to come off like I know everything. And, you know, I, I just take my experiences and what I've learned from my family and brothers and sisters I've learned from along the way and try my best to incorporate it into my life. And, you know, have oneself always got to have oneself together and, you know, get oneself together. And then when I'm when I when I'm cleansed and that divine lets me know that one is ready. Then I can suggest, teach, and give advice to others. But it's must it's so important that we have ourselves together. I know we hear this a lot, but until we reach that point in our lives when we are really, really true to oneself in every area, every aspect of our mind, body, and soul, then we are truly ready. But we cannot begin to teach or reach if we don't have ourselves in check. And that's a given. Like I said, I know we hear this a lot, but a lot most of us that have reached this level and have have become very wise and powerful we know these are those that are not connected you know with the right brothers and sisters that great divine and that love within so that's what brings me to the body always follows the mind so what we got in our mind you know and i know it's a lot of things going on in the media and i know things do have to be exposed because some of us have children you know, we have loved ones in our family that some may not be aware. And, you know, because it's important how we teach our circle, those that we are connected to. Because, you know, I don't care how much solitude we go in. We have to connect with one another because I've said time and time again, great divine didn't bring us in this life to not communicate one way or another, even spiritually, even in our thoughts. That's why I say question ourselves. What is our thoughts? What are our plans, you know, other than it's cool that we expose those entities and stuff, but not let ourselves become too distracted by it. You know, we got to pay attention to our personal lives, too. 
got to start putting plans in place for these evil attacks that are trying to come and coming. We got to start thinking about things like that. We got to start thinking about, you know, things we can do right now to make sure that we are ready when the future get here. Anticipation, brothers and sisters, anticipation. Working on our minds, paying attention to our bodies, our mind, body, and soul will help us to listen to that. We'll conjure up that spirit in a good way within us to come up with a plan. Of course, that great divine will drop it in us, but we have to put in the action too. We have to put in the work spiritually, physically, and of course, mentally. Because, I mean, it's nothing wrong with us. And I'm talking about oneself too. It's nothing wrong with us talking, speaking, reaching, and teaching. But we got to start talking about a plan for the melanated brothers and sisters. You know, we, we, know, we know what it is. Now it's time for the results. Now it's time for the solutions. Again, I, like I'm saying, I got all the solutions and all the results. But just kind of want to put that energy out there. Because I know how the entities of this world can have us so distracted. So one way we can keep our mind and our body aligned is to not be stupid, of course, and know that this social media can be powerful if we don't watch it. And that's another thing we do. Ask ourselves this question. I've asked myself this question. Are we caught in the web or am I caught in the web? And a lot of us that are super duper self-aware, we're not. But we still have to be careful. That's why I say think about that plan. You know, think about our body. Think about what we harbor in our body. You know, try to have is, you know, we can't let different entities and things of this world, you know, trigger things in our mind to make us deter us away from the things that keep us from planning things for the future because that's what i that's what i am observing that's what i see a lot of is distraction in this time is at an all time high so i'm just saying brothers and sisters just be very careful stay on point stay focused and i want to talk about the power of organization you know and that goes hand in hand with the body mind and so power of organization if you're an organized brother or sister you good you good because if you're organized within then that means your life will be organized and i it, it, and this is vital in life I'm, I'm sure this this applies to everybody once we become spiritually organized within ourselves man everything on the outside will be organized because those that are organized always have a plan in place always have you know, always thinking about the future, you know, and I know some not all of us can, you know, just jump and do stuff. And some don't have resources. Just think of a plan anyway. Put it in play. Write it down if you have to. You know, I, I've done this in the past, but this kind of like a renewal because a lot of like I said, the distractions can be so powerful. It can deter us away from the plans that we have set. So I'm just going to be, you know, one of those brothers to add in to the rest of the brothers and sisters out here my family children you know those that are that are conquering these bad these so-called battles that they're trying to send because you gotta watch out for the things that are illusions too we have real things going on out here but they're also very very powerful illusion illusions out here and you have to be somewhat self-aware to see the real stuff and the fake stuff so if you stay organized within, stay focused and don't just go with trends and do what everyone else doing and stay focused and stay on point, you know, and, and watch our, you know, families, keep our families in our spirit, our children, our significant other, ourselves, of course. So when we straight, those that we are attached to can be straight. That's very, very important. It's nothing to play with. Some people take that for granted. Our circle, you know, be thankful for those that we have in our circles that are real. So I wanted to read a couple of definitions, you know, I always kind of like breaking things down. And um, before I go on, I want to say welcome to another nature podcast. And this is where my mind is. So I take my mind above social media and out of some of the riffraff, so to speak. That's what we have to do. You know, take your mind, have a have a centering mechanism. Take your mind to a happy place, you know, a place that where you can think, where you can come up with solutions and ideas. So this is why I do 
these nature podcasts because that's where one mind is and what i said a few minutes ago where the mind goes the body goes the body always follows the mind i don't care who we are and if, if you're evil guess where your body gonna go so that's why it's important the thoughts that we we have in our mind and we harbor in our subconscious so i want to talk about organization the power of it when you perfect it and you for real and you about uplifting and up oneself and our loved ones and i'm gonna read two definitions in the first definition and i when i this first definition i'm thinking about us I'm thinking about my melanated brothers and sisters if all of us got on accord all of our platforms we all join together you know really spiritually we are connected but you know we just appreciate each other's information and, and gifts and and things that we're doing to lift one another man most powerful thing in the world and i'm just wanted to read you know shed a little light on organization you know not that none of us know what it is but this is one of those stop and take a take a breath moment and you know just stop pause for a minute this is one of those meditative moments so here we go an organized body of people this is the definition of organization an organized body of people and i'm thinking about us when i'm reading this this is, could be us again an organized body of people with a particular purpose especially a business society association etc I, man i want this to be us so bad if we could just become organized disagree to agree don't forget the real cause and also don't forget the real enemy and it's actually it's two enemies you got evil entities of the world that want to discourage everybody fear monger everybody keep everybody talking about certain individuals forgetting about the bigger picture you know we have to that's why we have to be organized you know because if you're not organized and this could be any part of our lives if we're not organized especially if we're an adult our life is going to be all over the place i mean there's there's no way around being organized but just think about it if this was us if we was the organized body of people if, if we were the if we had that particular purpose if all of us had that purpose whether we are beginning or we've been doing this for a long time you know like i said man if we if we could just have make this turn this our platforms into into businesses that can be tampered with or or contaminated or stopped you know we have to get our spiritual thinking in alignment with each other and i know a lot of us say this and it's it seems so simple but just close your eyes and think about that you know when you know and i do call that and i call down protection on our youth you know i just had another young brother pass her recently if i'm not mistaken another rapper oh and it's so heartbreaking to keep hearing my young brothers anybody dying period especially my melanated brothers and sisters it is so heartbreaking to hear our brothers and sisters you know just keep passing when it just keep happening and keep happening it's just oh may they rest in peace and in power and my condolences to any families that have lost any loved ones whether in the past present you know here recently and my heart goes out to them that's why we must be organized pay attention to one's mind body you know especially our loved ones you know check in on them make sure they're okay and, you know make sure their think their thought process is all right and really dig in there and make them make them talk if we have to you know really pay attention to our loved ones because we just never know what's going on in a person's psyche and so I just say rest in peace and in power to those that have transitioned, you know, young or old. And, you know, and like I said, my condolences to the loved ones and, and may they get through it the best way they can. Keep that divine in there and that divine will put that spirit in them. Tell them what to do to get through it. Because, you know, like I say, power of organization will help us do so many things and knowing our mind and our body it you know we'll begin to understand others why they act the way they act and you know why certain things happen in the world and 
Sometimes you just got to step back and observe, you know, and study things and, you know, really think about things. That's what keep us organized. And, you know, it's another little small definition, just a little summary. The action of, let me see, organization, the action of something being organized, you know, the action of organize, organizing something. That's what organization is, the action of organizing something. And that's just a different element of that definition. But I like the first one. And it, I'm going to put it out there. Even though, you know, you have to, even if some of us, oh, I'm going to go back to what I was going to finish on that definition. I'm going to read it again. And I'm going to tell you why I'm reading it again. An organized body of people, melanated brothers and sisters, with a particular purpose. This could be so us. Especially a business, society, association etc that would be so beautiful and there and we in a we in a different time now and i remember black wall street and now see back then they had easier access to us now in this computer age it's a different kind of black wall street that's how we got to look at it and we have to be covert you know stop jumping on all the bandwagons and everything they put out there in the news and the celebs we know about the celebs now we know we we have exposed them until we blew in the face how long are we going to talk about the evil entities of the industry tv politics how long are we going to talk about that we know about that now we need to talk about a plan within ourselves we need to come together and talk about what we need to do as we go forward fuck them you know those that's messing with the devil, fuck them. We need to stop burning our energy on them. We need to put our energy into ourselves, our family, and plans that what we're going to do for this generation that's coming behind us and ourselves. And do I have a plan? And I, I put it out there. You know, I might not have some resources. That's what I was getting ready to say. Don't think about the resources that you don't have. Don't think about what you don't have. Think about what we can do and put it into play, put it into action. Just put it out there to the universe because that's what that divine wants, wants us to be bold, don't want us to doubt, wonder, or worry. We just put it out there, you know. That's the power of organization is knowing your mind and your body and being fierce and not worry about the do's and the don'ts and stop getting distracted and caught up in this media and this celeb gossip shit. You know, we need to focus on us you know, our families, our children, you know, people who really need help out there. Fuck these people we exposing. They're going to do what they do. And and they're living their life while we watching them, you know. So fuck them. I'm focused on my family, my children, uh, brothers and sisters that help me in a positive way. And again, I say in the world, friends along the way, brothers and sisters right here online. You know, I would never forget that, you know. Someone that, you know, it's brothers and sisters I've conversed with online, never even met, you know what I'm saying? So never seen them face to face and have an impact like that on one's life. That's a, just think of how powerful that is. That's powerful. Never met a person and they have an impact on your life. I'm telling you, that's beautiful. But we have to be in a, you know, we have to be connected. You know, we have to be in that space to think like that to receive things like that, to be humble enough to receive things like that. You know, we have to be in that space. And it's not a lot of us that have that ability to be humble like that. And that's the space that we need to get to. Once we get there, then we can begin to organize. Then we can begin to set plans in place, whether it's financial, spiritual, whether it's boycotting some things, we need to all come together, you know. We can still have different branches, but be together. You know what I'm saying? And, and keep that, man, just keep our spiritual thinking in alignment with each other. Because, again, the body always follows the mind. So stay strengthened and keep, keep a plan in one's mind. Don't get too distracted by this bull out here. And I only say these things because one cares. And, you know, I've had people in my, you know, my family that helped me, you know, as well as a lot of people have helped me along the way. So now it's my duty, you know, as a as a real brother, as a man to help those 
to in, in their lives that need help. It's my turn now, you know? So, and it's wonderful to be able to take what you've learned and help you've gotten from others and be able to take that same teaching and love, whether it's from family or brothers and sisters or friends, and be able to take that in and use that power and take it and teach it to someone else. It's a very beautiful thing. So that's why I'm here saying, know the power of organization. Keep your spirit organized. Keep our body organized as much as we can, our minds, so we can stay on this path. And again, I say, keep, keep thinking of a plan. Have a plan in mind. Set a plan in motion. Now, I have some things in, 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 in plans for the future. You know, I, I put things, some things, some resources I do have and some I don't. But I just put it out there. You know, no fear, no worry, some concern. You know, and I learned that from a great brother. And that's that's what I'm here to say, brothers and sisters. Don't think about what we can do or, or what we can't do. No, no. Think about what we can do. But don't worry about what we can't do. We can't do nothing about the can't. Only worry about the things that we can control. One thing we can control is ourselves, mind, body, and soul. So think about the plans for the future. Don't get so caught up in the celeb exposing and all that. Fuck them. You know, we know that. You know, I'm talking about the ones that don't give a shit and like that old devilish ass life. You know, it's nothing we can do about them. We're just wasting our time because they all have, a lot of them have been exposed. There's nothing more to talk about. We need to start talking about melanated plans. We need to start setting a plan in motion for us to sustain this walk that we have gotten, this this ground that we're on, you know, so we can pass it to our youth, you know, because they dying left and right, brothers and sisters. I mean, these young brothers, and it's not just young ones, it's older ones too, you know, dying left and right. We have to start putting plans in motion. You know, we got to stop being distracted and, you know, we can expose to be blue in the face. But what is it going to change? Are we working on a plan? That's all I'm saying. Not that I'm perfect and I have everything ready, but I do have some. And it all starts in the mind. So once the, once you got it right in your mind, guess what? The body has to follow, especially if you a righteous, real brother or sister and you ain't taking no shit and you've been on this walk for a while and you know what it is. Come on, y'all, and set them plans in motion. And I say this out of love. You know, and I get this from my great divine as well as uh, a lot of uh, brothers and sisters out here. So just just always remember, try our best to have great organized thoughts in our mind so our body can fall can follow in a healthy way, you know, like a soldier. So and, and why do we do these things? So we can teach those that we are connected to. So our loved ones behind us, because a lot of us has been here since around the 70s. We're not going to be here. So we have to set a plan in motion. My young brothers and sisters, you better get to know organization. You better get you better get organized. You know, you better figure out what your purpose is. And stop playing. You know, these times is nothing to play with. You know, it's OK to enjoy your life, but stay focused because you never know. It's going to come down the road, you know. So that's why we have to set plans in motion and know the beauty and the power of organization because when you're organized brother and sister man you ready for anything real talk so that's my thought so question ourselves sometimes pay attention to our thoughts and be careful of the entities that trigger wrong emotions or thoughts in us and just sit back spectate observe and a lot of us do this but what i always say those who observe or listen are usually the most intelligent don't forget, the body always follows the mind. So keep our thoughts as pure, man, as we possibly can. Do whatever it takes to stay balanced in this life. So that's my thought. And I thank those that came into another Nature podcast. And I thank all the reachers and teachers that's doing their thing. Salute. And I give honor to your family, my family, brothers and sisters all over the world oh and i honor my children and their mothers i can't forget that and brothers and sisters all over the world may you have the ultimate peace in your part of the world wherever you are right now 
one.